Hello. on how to bike India and uh, yeah just some more general travel tips for when you're in India. Uh, before I get started I should probably tell you where, where I am at the moment. Um, I'm on Rotung Pass uh, just outside of Manali. Gorgeous man, absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, so I wanted this first video to be about uh, how to buy a bike in India, how to buy a bike in Delhi, um, more specifically. Alright, so first of all I just want to stress that you shouldn't listen to anything that anybody on the street tells you. Um, oh my god, it's uh... It's uh... Very scammy place, Delhi. Uh, you'll find yourself in a lot of with a lot of heartache, I think, if you uh, listen to what blokes on the street tell you, and you know they know where to buy a bike or they mate selling a bike, something like that. Um, don't listen to that. Um, secondly, um, you can go to a place called Carol Bag is the big bike market in Delhi. It's literally streets and streets of just motorbike shops. Um, it's where I bought my bike. But, um, yeah, by all means, go and check that out. Get some prices, have a look at some bikes. But I'm going to tell you something different. Um, and it rings true um, for Vietnam as well, where I traveled around on a bike for five months. Um, buy your bike from a traveller, from another traveller. Um, chances are that that backpacker or the travellers um, put quite a bit of money into the bike. Um, yeah, they might have thumped it all around India, but um, they will have spent on new parts, everything like that. Um, and you're not just going to get some shitty bike that's just been sort of taped together and it's going to last you 500 kilometers before you start having heaps of troubles. Like this baby. And like the bike that I bought in Vietnam also. Um, so yeah, I, I've poured, you know, a few hundred dollars into this already and I'm only three weeks into my trip. Um, just countless things have gone wrong with it and I uh, really regret not buying it from another traveller. Um, I actually, you know, while I was walking around Carol Bag, I found uh, a Swiss guy who was trying to sell his bike, and I really regret not buying it from him. You know, he had a he had a uh, 500cc classic Enfield. Um, it was maybe eight years old or something, um, but it would have been a much more reliable bike than the one that I got. Um, he wanted 50000 for that bike, um, which is a lot less than what I paid for this. Um, right, so what did I pay for this? Um, this is a Bullet Electra 350cc 2012 model, and I paid 74,000 rupees. So that's roughly... Um, roughly... Uh, one and a half thousand Australian dollars, maybe one thousand two hundred American or something. Um, and guess what? You know, I thought I got all the right paperwork, but I've had some guys look over it, and yeah, they gave me p fake papers and fake registration card, everything. You know, I, I might put up the uh, the video now of where I bought it from. It was a place called Shavam Motors. I thought that they were really good, you know, for the first week I bought my bike, I was like pretty happy with it, um, but I'm, you know, learning as I go, uh, 
that I really didn't get a good deal at all. A um, few people, a few mechanics have said, yeah, this is worth maybe 40 at best. Um, I paid 75 But 75 should include absolutely everything that you want. Um, you should get your luggage rack installed, brand new luggage rack. Um, you know, get all the paperwork, um, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, get a tool kit. Uh, I recommend getting dirt bike tires because uh, most of these roads, uh, you know, a dirt bike tire is going to be um, more useful. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to paperwork. Um, so you need your registration card. Now don't take a laminated, you know, flimsy looking thing. The real registration cards here in India are plastic. They look like, you know, any kind of bank card from back home. You know, um, they're legit. I got this, you know, little laminated, photocopied, uh, you know, photocopy of the original, um, which I've been told is basically worthless. Um, <laughs> fucking pisses me off. Um, yeah, so then you also need, need insurance on the bike. So try and get the insurance put into your name as well. The dealer should be able to organise that. Um, and if you ever want to resell the bike, you need a no objection contract, I think it's called, NOC paper, which basically says that the original owner, the one that the registration card says, the name on the registration card, you know, it says that he has willingly signed the bike over to you. Um, and without that, you can't really sell the, sell the bike to anyone. Um, and my dealers, you know, they offer to buy back 50%. And of course they, they're going to do that because, you know, I can't sell this bike to anyone else now. Um, so I'm basically stuck with it. Um, so, you know, don't get into that situation. Um, get a real registration card. Get an NOC certificate or letter or whatever it is. Um, get your insurance Try and get it in your name. Mine's not. Mine's in the, you know, the registration card holder's name. Um, and lastly, and less importantly, a pollution certificate, which you can get from any um, petrol station for 100 rupees, or 60 to 100 rupees, so one to two dollars. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Um, I just want, really, really want to stress that don't be led astray by anyone you meet on the street. There's lots of friendly guys in Delhi and they've all got, unfortunately, some kind of ulterior motive, whether it's just to make a bit of commission and they give you a good bike or, you know, whether they sell you an absolute heap of shit. Um, you, you're just not going to be getting the best bike that you can. Um, you know, go and check out Carol Bag. But, uh, you know, a good deal is going to give you legitimate paperwork. So, a plastic card, not a fucking laminated photocopy, you know? And, um, yeah, just be real careful. I mean, the, the, pl the prices are really overinflated in Carol Bag. Um, because they know that travellers are, you know, naive to these things and... Um, I was told yesterday by a fairly trustworthy mechanic that I've met in Manali um, that you should be able to buy a bike that's one to two years old for around, you know, the same price that I got this for, 75. Um, but in actual fact, I've got a five-year-old bike that I paid 75,000 for. Um, so yeah. You know, buy from a traveller. You're going to get a bike that's done the hard yards, but it's also, you know, been well maintained, more or less. Um, yeah, <laughs> don't fall for the same traps that I did, okay? Um, so, yeah, that just about concludes the first video. Um, I plan on 
uploading a whole heap of more videos on various topics. If you're interested in what I'm doing, please subscribe. Give me a bit of encouragement to keep making them. Uh, pop a comment below and ask me any questions you want me to answer. And yeah, hope this video was useful. I'll see you next time.